Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Ephesians 5 verse 20, King James, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry if I sound groggy, I literally just opened my eyes. I delivered to like about midnight last night, so um, yeah, sorry if I sound groggy. Today we celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanking the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, for all of our blessings. My puppy's doing better. The Lord healed him. My daughter's doing better. The Lord healed him. My mother, she's healthy. I'm healthy. Most of the time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm healthy. Tom is... He's, he's doing good. He he's, has to wait another six weeks to get his uh, prosthetic leg. So, um, for those that have been asking how he's doing. So, we got our blessings. We got, I got my little Jazzy right here. I, she hears her name. Yes. So, we give thanks. We give thanks for our blessings. Jesus is about to return. Now, when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Past, present, future. Here is a preacher of rapture. There's a lot more people coming out against preacher of raptures, but there's, there's some, some, there's some that do it in a nice way, you know. But there's some that are just like, <clears throat> you know, just like, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> in case you wonder what that noise was, you know, just going, <laughs> you know, and it's like, calm down, you know. But we return with Jesus. We return with Jesus. How do we return if we're already here? Think about that. Yeah. Whenever you go out there, I promise you, it's about to, it's about to be over. We are about to get our new glorified bodies. The shedding of His blood washes our sins clean. Could this be our last Thanksgiving down here? Boy, I pray. I pray it is. That's my noisy bit, sorry. I pray it is, but God's telling me perfect. He doesn't want anybody to perish, and a lot of people are giving their life to Christ every day. Now, this is from Warnings 247. This is a serious development. Swarms, swarms of drones, kamikazes, massively attacked the USS Thomas. Hudner, Houthis tried to sink the destroyer. They, uh, Houthi military operations barrage in the Red Sea. The Houthis launched swarms of Iranian kamikaze drones against a U.S. destroyer in the Red Sea in an unprecedented act of war. Yemeni rebels, who have become a force to be reckoned with in the Middle East, attempted, attempted to sink the Arleigh Burke class USS Thomas Hudner, DDG-116. It is the first time that the Houthis have directly targeted an American warship launching many drones. Military sources in the Middle East speak of shooting down a number of Waid drones, Iranian Shahid 136 kamikazes by a flurry of fire launched by the American destroyer. We remind you that the recent that recently the Houthis shot down an MQ-9 Reaper and captured the ship Galaxy Leader. At the same time, they continued the attacks with drones and cruise missiles against Israel. And they got videos here. I haven't seen the videos yet. American Arleigh Burke class destroyer, USS Thomas Hunter, today shot down an unmanned kamikaze aerial vehicles, drones, coming from areas of Yemen controlled by the pro-Iranian Shia Houthi rebels. This was announced through the X platform, formerly Twitter, by the Joint Command Center, by the Joint Command Center responsible for the Middle East region, CENTCOM Central Command. According to CENTCOM, the U.S. destroyer spotted and destroyed several drones believed to have targeted the ship. The drones, quote, the drones were, sh the drones were shot down while the U.S. warship was on patrol in the Red Sea. The vessel was not damaged and no crew members were injured. That's great. Praise the Lord. 
CENTCOM said, It should be noted that the drone launches were massive, and some of the drones headed towards Israel. Wow. The Israel-Hamas war triggered by an unprecedented raid by Hamas fighters into southern sectors of Israel territory on October 7th. The deadliest attack since the state's founding in 1948 is raised in fears of escalation in the region. With the Jewish state, along with its allies on the one hand, and on the other hand, the so-called axis of resistance, which consists of organizations supported by Iran, in particular Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. You know, there's a... There's a... a I was I'm half asleep. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't mean to, to giggle. I don't mean to giggle in this. This is this is a serious situation, you know. And I, I pray. I, I I pray for that area. I really do. But um, it's like I can't think of the word right now. This is um. There's a pause right now. Is that the word I'm looking for? This um, you know, Israel has agreed, um, to. Pause. I guess the words I'm looking. For. You know what word I'm looking for. I can't think of the word right now. Uh, it's been. I was. It was a long day, long night. But um, in exchange for hostages, I was supposed to be released on Friday. So, um, I don't think this is gonna last too long though. But that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, I. I pray, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, they release all the hostages. Yesterday, Wednesday, Israel announced that it had intercepted a cruise missile that was flying towards the southern part of its territory. Houthi rebels claim responsibility. Our forces fired missiles against various military targets in an Israeli entity in southern Israel. Houthi military wing spokesman... Ooh. And I know I mispronounce these names. I'm really sorry because these are tough names to pronounce. Uh, Yaya Sherry said, uh, Y A H Y A, I have no idea, said via X, formerly Twitter, quote, We will continue to conduct military operations until the Israeli offensive against the Palestinian, Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank stops, he added. Last I checked, they're the ones that keep attacking Israel. In recent weeks, the Houthis have repeatedly launched drone and missile attacks against Israel. The situation in the area of the incident is under control, and the ship continues its patrol mission. The destroyer of the U.S. Navy, Thomas Hunter, successfully shot down several kamikaze drones in the Red Sea. The drones were launched from areas controlled by the Houthi rebels in Yemen, according to the press service of the U.S. Central Command, CENCOM. The incident occurred while the ship was on patrol in the Red Sea. So, um, I'll leave the link in the description box for this article. I don't think this, uh, this, um, pause that they took is going to last very long. I don't. Oh, and this, this article is, um, it is in Greek. You have to translate it. I don't have a computer. I use my phone. I saw it out. I don't know how you translate it on the computer, but in the phone, you just go to the settings. So... I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Keep looking up. Keep listening. And stay close to the Lord. Armor up. Time is short. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.